To start the process of creating an animation or a stop animation in Movie Maker, you'll need to import your pictures. We are going to go right over here to the task bar and I'm going to click on, it's underneath import, and I'm going to click on pictures. And yours might look a little bit different, but it should be pretty similar. So I went over there and I picked pictures. Now I'm going to select the desktop and I have a folder called lights and that's where all of my images are. Now I want all of these images, so I'm going to do control A. So I hold down the control key and then hit A and then I can come right here and hit import and it will bring all of those pictures into my Windows Movie Maker. The next thing that I want to do is change it from the storyboard view to a timeline view. So I go right down here to the bottom and I change that to timeline. Now before we bring any of these images down into our timeline, we want to change the length. By default, Windows Movie Maker makes each picture five seconds long, which is way too long for what we want to do. So we're going to come up here to Tools, and then down to Options and it will be on general and you want to click on advanced now mine has already been um, has already been lowered but yours will be on five here and then something high right here so what you're going to do is hold this all the way down until it can't go down anymore and it'll be on 0.125 and then you'll do the same thing with this one and it will be on 0.25 once you do that, you can hit OK, and now you can bring all your pictures down. So I'm first going to click on any one, and then I hit Control A again. And for some reason, that's not working. So I'm just going to hit the last one, hold down Shift, and get the first one. And that is another way to do it. So now they're all highlighted, and I'm going to click on... So now to bring them down to the timeline, you just click on one of the pictures and you drag it down. And it's not going to look very big and some, depending on how long your project is, you might not be able to see anything. Now this one's only 17 images long, so you should be able to see something. If you can't, you can come right here to the zoom and then you can see all the individual pictures. So after I bring them down, I'm going to come over here and see what it looks like. So I'll go ahead and hit play. And it actually is fast enough. So we could just leave it the way that it is. Um, if it's too fast, what we would do is come over here, click and drag to highlight all those and press delete. And then go back up to our tools and options and bring those up a couple and then bring our images back down and let's see okay that's a little bit too slow but that actually works because I want to show you how to make them even faster a different way so I'm going to pretend that I can't make them any smaller and so we're just going to save this once. So I'm going to go to Publish To and this computer. So here I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to name this Lights 1 and I'm going to make sure that it goes on my desktop. So I'll hit Next and Publish. Once your movie has went ahead and saved, um, this might be checked. I go ahead and take that off because I don't need it. And I'm going to click finish. And if you minimize everything, you will see um, a file that is called lights one and it should show a little thumbnail of your lights. So what we need to do now is go back into Windows Movie Maker and get rid of all of the lights in your timeline. So click and drag to get rid of those. And then this time you're going to go to import and choose videos. And here on my desktop I have the Windows Media file of the lights. So I'll double click on that. And here is exactly what I just saved. So this would be if you 
put the file the image links as short as they could go but they still needed to be faster this is what you would want to do bring your your video back in and then you're going to go to edit and effects and you're going to look for one and yours will have a little guy that's walking but you're going to look for one that's speed up double see I have my little guy and so you're just going to click and drag it down and then go ahead and look and that looks pretty good to me but if you wanted yours to be even faster you just click and drag that down again and it will make it even faster okay so if that's if that's all that you would like to do you can now go over here to edit and add a title or credit and first we're going to start with a title at the beginning and I'm just going to call this one lights and you can change the text font and the text color down here um, change all this information if you wanted to and then you can go ahead and add the title now when you bring it in initially it's three seconds long which might be a little bit long so we can come right here and drag this over and make it a little bit shorter okay looks like we can only make it two seconds um, and then we're going to go back to the titles and credits and do ti our credits at the end so here we could do something like cameraman and then you could put a name what you have to remember is that you cannot put first and last names so you would need to just put a first name um, so you could put all of your different people that helped and what they did and make sure you only put their first names and then you can add that and then again and make this smaller bring this down and then I'm gonna come right here and now we can watch the whole thing so we have our title we have the lights and then we have our credits so that would be an animation so now I'm ready to produce it again so I'm going to go back to publish and do this computer and this one I'm going to name lights final so that I know that it's the one that I want and I'm going to hit next publish and go ahead and let that finish and then click finish go to my desktop and here is my lights final ready to um, upload or turn in